Bandai Namco is a Japanese company that is famous for licensing, creating, and commercializing video games. But the company does much more than that. In fiscal year 2019, it generated an impressive 732 billion yen in revenue, which translates to 6.6 billion dollars. Bandai Namco is an intellectual property franchise genius. They acquire the licensing rights to popular titles and build a whole ecosystem around them. Most gamers probably grew up playing Bandai Namco video games. Remember the good old days of playing Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 on PlayStation 2? While the franchise was owned by Atari at first, Bandai snatched the Dragon Ball distribution rights in 2009. As it saw the immense potential of the video game franchise, this was the best decision the company could have made. Gundam used to run the show at Bandai Namco for quite some years, but the revival of the Dragon Ball franchise set new heights for the company. Revenue from the Dragon Ball franchise overtook that of Gundam's in 2018, and is continuing to grow. The company also owns the licenses to other Japanese anime series, such as One Piece, Naruto, Sword Art Online, and My Hero Academia. Their gaming franchise houses a lot of successful games. In 2016, they sold more than 300 million units of their Dragon Ball Xenoverse and their Dark Souls 3 video games. Their smartphone game, Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle. Was downloaded more than 100 million times worldwide. Bandai Namco has sold over 2.5 billion toy units around the world. Their best sellers still remain under the Gundam franchise, with over 500 million units being sold. They also produce toys and figurines of other popular titles, such as Dragon Ball, Naruto, Digimon, Pokemon. Saint Seiya and Benten. Pac-Man has been around since 1980. Feel old yet? Funny thing is that the original Japanese title was called Pac-Man. But to prevent people in the Western world from vandalizing the machines by turning the P into an F, Bandai was decided to revise the name. The game was a huge success from the beginning. With over 100,000 arcade units being sold and over 1 billion dollars being generated in the first 15 months, Pac-Man was recognized as the most successful coin-operated amusement machine by Guinness World Records in 2005. Remember the guilt you had when you let your Tamagotchi die? It must have been quite a traumatic experience. But that has not stopped Bandai. From selling over 80 million Tamagotchi units since its launch in 1996, that small palm-sized digital device brought in an estimated 900 million dollars in revenues for Bandai. Tamagotchi has taught invaluable parenting skills to some people, hopefully. The company tried to replicate Tamagotchi's success with its Digimon portable LCD games. But that was not as successful. It sold around 14 million units worldwide. Bandai Namco also owns sports amusement parks and attractions. In June 2019, the company unveiled its VR theme park based on anime and video games in Tokyo. And in January 2020, it opened its second indoor amusement park in Mumbai, India. The company also dipped its toes into esports, focusing on game titles such as Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Soul Calibur, and Tekken. They announced that they would open an esports-focused arcade in Tokyo. The reason why they did not open one sooner is because of the strict Japanese laws in protection of minors and fight against gambling. But that changed in 2018. When the laws were relaxed, Banai Transport Division, now offering services under Banai Logipal, has actually been a part of the company for a very long time. They even got an award from the Japanese Ministry of Transport 
at the 2018 Eco Driving Activity Contest. Banai Namco also offers a smartphone browser gaming platform called Enza. They release some exclusive titles of Dragon Ball and Naruto on that platform. Unfortunately, it seems that the platform is only offered in Japanese. The company is also involved in many niche areas, not all of which have worked in the past. They offer Ani Yuta, a flat rate streaming service for anime songs. Ani Yuta tried conquering the US market in 2018, but it announced that its US version would stop streaming at the end of March 2020. Guess there were not that many weebs in the US after all. In May 2017, Banai Namco acquired Anime Consortium Japan, the owner of anime streaming service Daisuki. However, a few months later, it announced that it would cease the streaming service. The news came in quite as a shock. Daisuki was backed by industry leaders such as Toei Animation and Anaplex. But it seems that it could not face the fierce competition from Funimation and Crunchyroll. Their user interface was plagued with issues, and they could not get their hands on exclusive shows. Despite all of its troubles breaking into new business areas, Banai Namco can capitalize on its portfolio of licenses to generate recurring revenues. If they really want to control the entire value chain of anime intellectual property, They might end up buying an anime streaming service, just like Sony did when it bought Funimation. What are your thoughts about the company's video games? Do you like the new Dragon Ball video games? What franchise would you like Banai Namco to undertake in the near future? Let us know.